If you've ever heard of Tuvalu, chances are you've heard that it's sinking. For more than a decade, Tuvalu has been sounding the alarm over rising sea levels and planning for the worst, the total inundation of the country. But even as they plan for the worst, the country has embarked on an ambitious climate adaptation plan that could potentially change what we think is possible, not just here, but in other low-lying countries. Ellen Rescher is the director of the Tuvalu Coastal Adaptation Project, or TCAP, launched in 2017 with funding from the Green Climate Fund and the government of Tuvalu. TCAP is focused on improving coastal protection in key locations on three of Tuvalu's islands, including here in the capital, Funafuti. We don't want to lose our culture, we don't want to lose our land, we don't want to lose our people, and that's why we are fighting uh, no matter what. We're trying our very best to save Tuvalu. The majority of Tuvalu's population lives less than two meters above sea level, and they've already seen the dangers firsthand. In 2015, storm waves from Cyclone Pam caused 10.34 million U.S. dollars in damages, over a third of the country's GDP at the time, and displaced 45 percent of the population. TCAP's work is visible everywhere. The 7.3 hectare section of land behind me has been built up from the ground up using sand brought in from the island's lagoon and is now two meters above the highest astronomical tide. This can serve as a safe location from flooding in the event of a cyclone or storm surge. The reclaimed land will be not only protecting communities from the sea and the rising. It is also um, being used for the um, limited land that we have. So it's for, you know, sort of development purposes, shopping, uh, housing and uh, recreation. So it's going to be put into good use. The plan is about much more than short-term solutions, though. The government has um, a, um, a long-term adaptation plan. It's about, I think it's about 33 square kilometers of ad additional land, yeah? So the whole of Tuvalu population can be accommodated on this new land. While other people are moving away to Australia, New Zealand, some are still remain, this is their Tuvalu. I, I'm not going anywhere, I'm, I'm staying here. That's good news for locals. While many appreciate offers from neighbors like Australia to resettle climate refugees permanently, like the saying goes, there's no place like home. Tuvalu is the only place I grew up, and uh, I really love staying here. I still want to stay here in Tuvalu. <laughs> Mirulu for CGTN in Funafuti, Tuvalu.